V's, there are at least parallel spaces or something, just not too incremental, not all the same, just random here and there. That's kind of why I like to do it a little bit at a time. Just reach in there and do a couple. I don't want them to become dark whisper, whisk, whiskers. I want them to be the tone of his skin showing past the white whiskers. I want to take into consideration the contour and yet the character in some of these areas. You know, if you if you saw this man standing in front of you, you probably see he has a indentation here. And if you don't put that there and it's just smooth, you might take some years off of him or else that isn't him. Do you see this coming up here? And this little piece here. Those are some things that you can put in there that are really maybe, maybe emphasize his character. And yet then I want to also look and I'm saying, oh, look from this corner. Oh, there's another little darker place. And I come along here and I'm seeing, oh, kind of a nice curve out of that. And what else does it line up with? And so, you know, maybe it's over here and then this curls up here. So I'm kind of always looking and seeing, oh, here's a Nike swoop here, you know. Here's, what does this point to? Oh, this, if we keep going up here, it points to this or something. And, and so it always helps you keep your proportions in line. Instead of just putting a mark on a paper and having it line up with nothing, uh, you know, I, I, can, I can say, well, I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put a row of stuff here and not pay any attention to what it's pointing at. That's what continues on that little path. And so then there's no correlation. There's no, no ability to use it as a reference area and, uh, and continue improving or maintaining your uh, proportion. There's a lot of little tricks. I'm trying to show you a few. A lot of little tricks to being able to keep good proportion. And I think everybody wants to draw with good proportion. Oh, there's some, some people that purposely probably distort it, but because they're doing character studies and things like that. I mean, uh, caricatures. And if I get too much of a line here, I can, I can just break it up. I'm going to go whoop, and suddenly it's got that thick and thin, dark and light, and yet it's still, you know, we know where the source is. It's still coming from a certain place. And I love the fact, as I've said before, sometimes I'll develop a little bit more detail than what I'm actually going to keep. I'll tap some back. And then this gets lighter and lighter and lighter as it gets out to this edge because we're looking at the full, uh, you're know, looking uh, through. Instead of looking at things like, you know, we're looking at whiskers like this instead of like this. And so we have less chance of seeing skin when it's dense and thick. And uh, you just think about that when you're thinking about that curve too. What a wonderful compliment to curve and contour. And we also have a clean edge. So even though we have to develop that a little bit at a time, you know, I'll come in here and I don't want that dot to be any darker than anything else, but I, I, I can come in here and I can just clean up an edge at some point. Maybe I want to develop my whiskers first. Maybe I can do a little bit of that and start getting a feel for it. Say, oh yeah, I can't wait till I get to that part. I, I think that's what I'll do. And, you know, just little things. You reach in there and just, you know, add a little value or something. Hi, I hope you enjoyed this video, this excerpt. And uh, if you did, uh, please uh, take the opportunity to subscribe. Uh, then that way you'll know when there's new ones. And I always hope that they're going to be useful for you and give you some good information. And, uh, and if you want to share it with your friends, I'd appreciate that too. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.